we're at the Sportsmobile factory in Fresno, California. We were taking a tour and I spotted this thing. Kate and I have been looking at expedition vehicles for doing some serious like round the world type of full timing once we're done seeing the rest of the US. So Jonathan, tell us about this. This is our all-terrain warrior. Uh, we partnered with All Terrain Warriors Australia on this product. We work with a Mitsubishi Fuso. It's a diesel four-wheel drive, all from the factory. And this truck is available for purchase on every continent. So this type of vehicle is ideal for overseas travel if you ever need service or warranty work conducted. You'll be able to find a dealer all over the world. Nice. Uh, we redo all the suspension. We take out the uh, original shocks and springs. We do a full parabolic springs with custom shocks take off the wheels and tires. Uh, it comes as a dually and we put the super single wheels on the back. Um, put the back box on the chassis here and uh, completely customize uh, all the options. So as far as your uh, power seats on the inside, these have uh, air ride seats, a number of different suspension seat options for the cab, uh, radio and electronic options, winches and bumpers and really let you go from there and on the inside kind of the same deal what stove you might want you know different microwave options and uh, yeah it's a really extreme overlanding vehicle so it looks like you're still doing some work on this particular vehicle but I say walk us around show us all the features because this thing looks badass awesome yeah we're just finishing up on this so excuse a couple screws lying around <laughs> but uh, yeah let me take you around it has a ton of storage uh, these things open up they have a little arm that'll fold down for support and it's a nice little kind of utility locker it's where we store our winch controls a little extra depth fluid for the longer trips and uh, some tools for use with the uh, onboard air compressor that thing feels absolutely solid oh it is yeah it's the material is about this thick it's two sides fiberglass and then it has a foam insulation on the inside so it's like a big ice chest that's super heavy duty and um, is this like four season capable and everything else? 100 percent. Yeah, all the water tanks, water lines, everything's on the inside. It has a diesel fired furnace and water heater, um, fully self-contained and yeah, extreme weather ready. Uh, it also has an upgraded fuel tank. So this thing, I think almost has 500 plus mile range. Because I think you, when we were talking earlier, you said the, this particular Fuso is getting 17 and a half MPG? That's right. I took it to the SEMA show, the first one we did, and I, it was amazing. I got 17.8 miles per gallon on that trip. Um, you're not the first guy up the hill. It's a little four-cylinder turbocharged diesel, um, but it moves you along at a decent clip, and with that kind of fuel economy and the four-wheel drive capabilities, you know, who's complaining? Yeah, exactly. Uh, the Australian model is a right-hand drive, so their entry door in Australia is on the our driver side here, the passenger side over there. So the mirror, the inside is mirrored, and instead of the entry door being here, we've turned it into a storage locker. So we have our max tracks, our axe and shovel kit, our air compressor hose, exterior shower connections, our shore power, city water connection. So all the utilities here in kind of this storage locker. And then as we move back, it has another huge storage compartment which also houses our 80 gallons of fresh water. Uh, we've done full water filtration systems in these things where you could literally like, dump a hose in a muddy puddle. I mean, just the latches themselves, that is serious business right there. This area has also been outfitted in another build as a dog kennel. So there's a pass-through that goes to the inside there, and we fitted that with kind of a, a crate-style door, okay. and then a couple crate-style um, partition walls here, so the dog could live back here, have access to the front area, and then both sides were still available for storage, dog food. Another Illuminesque component here, uh, they've developed this custom rear bumper for the Fuso uh, All-Terrain Warrior. You see, notched into the fiberglass is the availability for room, two spare tires, it has a 16,500 pound winch that will serve two purposes. One, to lower the tires down, because these things weigh almost 100 pounds a pop, make it easier for you to roll them off and do a quick tire change. And you can also use the winch for recovery. Here's the other side of the pass-through. So now we're on the passenger side of the rig. Bunch of storage. This has part of our diesel furnace and water heater, some components there. Then we have our entry door here, and more storage up front here. This thing definitely has no shortage of storage space, so room for a bunch of equipment. The front of our all-terrain warrior has an luminous bumper, 
It also houses another big winch, um, LED lighting, uh, more lights down below for fog, and then an Illumines roof rack with a ladder here on the side. More safari lights, you can never have too many lights. Well, at least we know it holds 200 pounds. The outside of this thing is great, but we really need to see the inside if we're gonna be trying to live out of this thing. The inside of our all-terrain warrior has the master bed here in the back. This lifts up for a bunch of storage underneath. We have a hanging closet with a microwave, which is optional here. This is a little storage area for maybe your laptop or iPad with some charging ports. Uh, then we have a collapsible sink over here in the counter area. Uh, you have optional stove, um, anything from electric stove, alcohol burning, propane, diesel, number of different stove options. A lot of galley storage down below, as well as our Vitrofrigo slide out refrigerator freezer combo stainless access to batteries and some of the heating components can be done underneath our carpet overlay through the floor uh, lots of storage all our electronic uh, components are over here for the solar controller s-bar furnace controls inverter control panel it has a really unique bathroom so part of the entryway or i should say the whole entryway turns into your shower so this door here will flip over and this whole area becomes your bathroom. We have a toilet here and then a shower here. So a lot of times showers take up a lot of room in a rig, but using your entryway for your shower is a really nice use of space. So um, makes everything usable. We use all teak wood doors um, and fiberglass finish on the, the inside. Uh, I have a lot of people refer to this as the land yacht. It does kind of look like a boat and have a boat feel to the interior. Uh, the all-terrain warriors guys uh, worked uh, with a lot of boat makers, yacht builders, and uh, and guys within their company that had experience there, kind of helped put this whole package together. Our dinette area here, uh, really cool. It has a, a table mount, so it allows this table to swivel to be used as your dining room. It can also get out of the way, and it has full pass-through capabilities, so you can crawl through to the cab. Uh, this table will also be used up front, driver and passenger area, so you can move it up there. Um, and then this will make into a bed with a removable arm here. You can sleep another two people. We will also offer a bunk up here if you need more sleeping capacity. This is also where extra passengers can ride while you're going down the road. You'll notice this one has our pop-up top. Uh, this can also be purchased with full fiberglass hard-sided roof. So you have options for both. The benefit of this pop-up top is when it's down, it can be fit into a shipping container, which make it ideal for overseas travel. These are all custom built. Uh, the price on them uh, can go anywhere from about the mid 200 range on up into the low 300,000 range, just depending on all the options you want. Uh, the one we're standing in is probably just approaching the 300,000 mark. We've been looking at a lot of expedition vehicles, some small, some big, some that are three quarters of a million dollars. But this has everything we need, and really nothing we don't. It has plenty of storage. Leah would be happy inside of it. Awesome insulation. It can fit in a shipping container so we can ship it around the world. And this might be a very serious consideration for us, either now or sometime down the road when we're really ready to travel the rest of the world and see what it has to offer. So this is going down as my favorite expedition vehicle thus far. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We will see you next time. Bye. All right, I got up here. Now I got to worry about getting myself down. Got to go backwards, not forwards. Should have thought this through. You made it. Hey, that was pretty easy. This vehicle is awesome.